evil people of this world know exactly what they are doing. They just hope they don't get caught. Also, when evil people do evil things to others, and when it comes time for that evil person to be reprimanded for what they have done and to receive the consequences of their actions, a lot of times those people avoid justice. Think about at the... Oh, come on. I was going to go there first. Before I, before I get there, let me do a small step first. Y'all seen that uh, show on Netflix? What's that called? Uh, Black Mirror. You ever seen the episode White Bear? Okay. If you haven't seen it, please go see it. But without giving out any spoilers, remember how one of the characters ended up committing a heinous act and avoided justice, right? So they're like, well, you know what? If this one avoided justice, we're not gonna allow this one to as well. So let's go ahead and torture this person. Like, White Bear, that episode was mind-boggling the very first time you see it, right? But yes. Also, where I was going first with that is, remember when Hitler, at the end of World War II, when Hitler had knew that he had lost the war, but he had already annihilated six million Jews. And when they were coming after him, what did he do? Off to self. Because he would rather go to the grave than to face what he, have done, what he has done. And that's what a lot of evil people in this world will do. They will do evil acts and they will try to move on with their life as if nothing has happened or if it became a matter of life or death, they would instead choose death to avoid the consequences of what they did in their life. Let's talk about another one. Shanquella Robinson, say her name. The little, you know, Cobb five or six, however many people it was, five or six people that did this to her. Those people have avoided their consequence. They've avoided justice because they have one not taken accountability for anything that they have done like they literally all each and every one of them single-handedly with their bare hands took that poor girl's life and now these people are off just living their life and if you see me right now uh-huh i hope y'all come across y'all for you page because we don't we didn't forget about her we won't let y'all forget about her but you see how people can do just such horrible heinous acts and then just run from accountability because these evil people know exactly what they do and ladies and gentlemen they do so the same thing here what's going on in palestine they know that what they are doing is wrong they know that what they're doing is genocide however these people do not care and you wonder how can they not care those people are inhumane they are working for the devil they have chosen the master that they serve. And you know we cannot serve two masters. You either serve the Most High, you either serve God, Allah, or you serve the devil. Those people that can go and torture another person or a group of people to just take away people's lives, to dehumanize them, to strip them of their autonomy, animalization, Animalization is happening to the Palestines. It happened to the Jews in the Holocaust and it happened to the black people in slavery. They know what they were doing because what they're trying to do is curse an entire bloodline. With black people, they spiritually cursed us. Generations, centuries, it's in our bloodline. The Jews, they wanted to curse them, but the way that they wanted to curse them is they wanted to annihilate them. The same with the Palestines. They want to curse them, so they want to annihilate them. But let me tell you, in every single situation, did black people survive slavery? Yes, we did. Did the Holocaust survive? Did, excuse me, I'm sorry, forgive me. Did the Jews survive the Holocaust? Yes, they did. Will the Palestines survive this genocide? Yes, they will. Yes, they will. Yes, they will. 
The Palestines will prevail. The Palestines will see this through. The Palestines will not be annihilated. The Palestines will not be wiped off the face of this earth. Because if God be for them, then who can be against them? God is for them. God is for the Palestinian people. They will prevail. They will push through. They are being tested like Job. Job in the Bible, when he was being tested left and right and everything was being stripped away from him, his wife said, why don't you just curse God and die? That's exactly what the enemy wants for the Palestinian people. They want the Palestinians to curse God and die. But that's not what they're going to do. Because what are they doing? They are praying. They are getting down on their knees and they are praying. They are praying together. When all of this is happening, when their whole entire environment surrounding them is demolished and is nothing but rubble and debris and they are still taking the time to pray and if it's one thing we can learn from from the palestinian people is this is exactly how you fight against spiritual warfare this is how you fight you fight in the spiritual because when you fight in the spiritual it manifests into the physical because if they're taking everything that they can away from them in the physical, trying to take away their water, their food, their electricity, their resources, taking away everything, all they have left is their faith. All they have left is to pray. And you and God are a majority. Us and God are a majority. The Palestinians and God are a majority. When the whole world has gotten together in different countries, different cities, different continents, people are getting together to protest, to boycott, to march for justice. We are all as one. We are all coming together. This is the revolution. And didn't they say that the revolution will be televised? The way that we are all coming together we are raising the vibration of the planet and here's is what we can do we need to follow their example we need to continue to pray as much as we're going to do these protests we got to keep on marching we got to keep on protesting keep on boycotting we got to get to moments where we collectively pray together because when one person prays that's it's great but what about when a group of people pray together when a group of people pray together it's even more powerful pray together we have to continue when we continue to pray pray for their rescue pray for their resources pray for the devil to flee from them seven ways play pray for their survival pray for them to keep their life pray for their safety we continue to pray for them as if you have to pray for them as if you were actually in that situation. Place yourself in the shoes of the Palestinian people that are in Palestine, that are in Gaza, that you everything is destroyed around you. You have no water, no food, no electricity, no resources. What would you pray to your God for? What would you ask God for? How would you ask God to help you? What would you pray for? That's what you pray for. You use your empathy. You use your empathy. Your empathy is your love. It's your compassion. God is love. God is full of love. God is full of empathy. When we can empathize with them and pray for them as if we were in that situation, we are praying for exactly what they need. Instead of just going through the motions of, yes, we're going to send our thoughts and prayers. No, let's actually pray this time. Let's actually pray this time. Because there the devil is sitting here thinking that he got us, but no. Because the darkness cannot exist without light. The light will always overpower the darkness. This is a war between light and dark. The darkness will never win. The light will always win. The light will always win. So what we are to do is we are to continue to choose faith over fear because fear is a low vibration. We don't want to be in the vibration of fear, that low vibration, we want to be in faith. We want to be optimistic, not pessimistic. Even when the situation seems dire, we still want to hold on to that faith and be optimistic and know that if God be for us, who be against us? I... We gotta continue to pray. We gotta continue to stay in the vibration of faith, of optimism, of knowing that God is going to see us all through that God is going to see the Palestinians through. I love you, my Palestinians. I love you. I pray for you. I love you. We will prevail. You will prevail. Ashe.